Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, continuing my Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. And oh wow, we actually need the key right here. It's earlier than I thought, but oh well. We can go ahead and proceed. And of course we're back here in the staircase painting room. There's actually two of these uh, opposite each other in the dungeon. And I believe the bow is still in this next room, so a lot of the dungeon is remaining quite similar. And again, we have another south host fight. Let's see if I can get a good spin attack off on it. Get a big one. No, I went way too early for that. Get out of here, dude. Why don't you fall in that hole? How about that? Don't get too comfy, yo. You'll just start thinking that you can run in the hole, too. I actually killed myself like that. Well, not kill myself. It throws you down into the next floor. Which you might as well kill yourself. If you do that sort of thing. Anyway, we got him. I'm not really sure how I got that last blow, and it looked like he was behind me when I swung, but... Link's horizontal uh, swipes have a lot of reach on them. In front and behind, so you gotta... gotta take that into account. These scalpels apparently don't know that sort of thing. Spin attack! <laughs> I'm not sure if y'all can hear my controller or not, but I'm just going crazy on the thumbstick right now. There we go, got one of them. Let's see if I can get both of them dead at the same time. I'd love to not have to fight like them, them, them repeatedly like I did in my Ocarina of the, in the classic quest version. It's looking like this one guy is going to give me a little bit of trouble. He hasn't taken very many hits yet, I don't think. Come on, dude. Ah, I, I, messed up, I messed up the spin attack, spin attack or I could have had him right there. Come on, do it. You know you want to. You know you want to. You ass! You're just fucking stalling, man. Great, and now I'm getting into the routine of fighting one and then the other. That's the worst way to do this. Come on, put your shield down. Come on! Let's fight! Be a pansy. There we go, we got him. Finally. I hate when they uh, tag team like that, it's so annoying. And that one guy basically quit fighting me, he just started running away. I'm not sure if their AI is written in for them to just hold their shield up until the other guy comes back or not, but it sort of certainly seemed like he was uh, being ble uh, what's the word? Purposefully obnoxious there. Anyway. We can go ahead and get the bow, oh yes, and we're going to proceed back into the room we that we just came from in order to go ahead and take out that ghost, and then we'll move forward. Now, this is kind of a weird uh, dungeon design. Did I go back in the right room? Let me see if I went the right way or not. I appear to have gone the wrong way. Let's turn around. Now this is kind of weird because I think we're actually going to have to go back to the, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go quite a ways back to get the next key that we need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back there and get it. I'm not gonna fight the ghosts yet. I'm gonna fight them on the way back, because it'll be more convenient. Basically now we're headed back to the, uh, uh, this is the main room of the dungeon, basically, where the elevator is. It's the, uh, you guys know, you guys know what the elevator is. But it's that room. That's where we're headed back to right now, because well, we have the bow, we can shoot out both of the eye pieces, and that will allow us access to either of the diagonal rooms. And that's where we need to go right about now. I'm actually going to jump down here and get this one too on the way. Because I believe that the... Is that eyeball still up there in Master Quest? No, it's not. Okay, it's gone. Well, let's continue then. Why do they put this here? Oh, I see. You can hop down here now. Ah, I see. It made two different shortcuts. It made a same, the same shortcut appear, but it made two targets come up in order for you to take advantage of the shortcut. And thankfully, we'll only have to fight that Stalfo once. Alright, now we're back here in the main room. I'm going to go ahead and equip my bow. I usually put it on the bottom, I, just, I don't know why. The setup that you see right now in the upper right-hand corner is the one that I prefer. I'm not sure why. It just feels right. And we can take out these eyes. I think we want to go in the right courtyard, actually, for this one. So I'm just going to line that up and head over that way. When I say right, I mean the easternmost. This one! Let's see. We got a Biku Baba right out here? Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. And she gives you some nuts. Or he gives you some nuts. I don't even know. Alright, let's see. Can we hookshot up to that chest up there? Just like we did in the other file? Is there still a chest up there? Uh, there is, but I don't think, I don't think we can hookshot to it. Alright, let's see. Where do we need to go now? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, 
Well, that that might be it. Gold Skotilla and a uh, hook point here. Oh, no, I didn't want that. I wanted to hook onto it and fly up there and grab it in the air. That would have been cool. Now, you see here, Navi's going to fly forward and turn green. And the presence of these blocks indicates that playing the Song of Time is probably your best option. And in this case, it's actually the only way to complete the temple. You have to, you have to figure out, and that's what you're supposed to do here. And we'll go ahead and hop ahead. And to the next one. And I think we actually have to play the song again. Now, the first time I did this, I was kind of worried that it was just going to make the block under my feet disappear. But no, this one's fairly permanent. It doesn't seem to move. It's just that other one that goes back and forth. Disappears from there. And then reappears over there. If you make a, take a flying leap at it, you can actually grab onto the edge, even though it may look like you couldn't. Let's see. Ooh, I remember this from last time. There's a Skulltula up here we want to avoid. If he sees us right now, he'll actually knock us onto the platform, so it's not so bad. Alright, here's a chest. Is this a key? Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, there's the key that we need. That we were gonna need. I didn't actually go to the door yet, but I knew I didn't have the key. No point headed over there, heading over there if I can't do anything about it just yet. But now we can proceed through this door as well. Take out the Skulltilla, and use a fire arrow to melt... Well, melt, I don't know if that's the right word, but to burn the spider web. And then we're going to kill this asshole. I have no idea what he's doing. Now, uh, we're back over here. I can't remember which of the two wells has the eye switch in it. But my inst instinct tells me that it's going to be the left one. Or excuse me, the right one, the easternmost. So I'm going to head back to that one and check. And if not, I can always just switch over and walk through the main room. It's not like we don't have that sort of access now. Let's check. Is this the one that has it? I think it is, actually. I think I may have picked the right one. Yep, there it is. Very nice. Instead of uh, pushing a switch on a high ledge like we did in Classic Quest, the eye is actually right there. So once you get to the courtyard, you can get into the well. And the, ah, nice. The key, I believe, is... Is, it, is this the key right here? It's kind of weird. It is a key. Alright, well, apparently there are five keys in the, uh... At least five keys in, uh, Master Quest. So, that's another difference there. And I believe down here we'll find another gold scotilla. That'll bring our total up to four, if I've been counting correctly. Again, post-calculus math, I should be able to count by now, right? Oh, we're climbing up into the light! Ah. Will climbing up to the top of this platform allow us to get anywhere else? I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and try it. I hear a gold scotilla. Very nice, here's the fifth one. We can go ahead and get them all right now. Bum, bum, na, na. That should be all of them, if we check the map. Yep, we've got our logo, so we've got all the gold scotillas now. Now it's just a matter of completing the temple. So let's, uh... find our way back inside. Because I think that we're going to want to go back through the room on the left. The western room. Go back through the twisted hallway and all that jazz all over again. So we can get to the rooms with the ghosts. And now that we have both of the keys, we'll be able to proceed to the, through the doors after the ghosts. You wouldn't even believe how many, how many times I went back and forth through these rooms in the, my practice of this uh, dungeon. It's because I didn't realize I had to have two keys. Well, first of all, I didn't realize you had to have any. I just like proceeded forward, fought both the ghosts, and then got to a locked door and was like, what the? And you actually have to go back, like way back, all the way to the main room and go back in the courtyards and such. I didn't know that, so it took me a couple tries. I ended up going through this room like five times. As it is, you actually have to, you, you have to go through at least like three times to finish the temple. It's really strange. The temples that are like this are the ones that are most difficult. It's a linear temple that's easy. It doesn't matter how long it is or what kind of enemies you have to fight. It's about the design of how you move through it. For example, the forest temple is not linear at all. Like, as you can see, we're going back through the same rooms over and over, just getting different keys, unlocking different doors. Getting, and now that you have a new item that changes the way the room works, or it allows you to do things you couldn't do before, all sorts of stuff. So... It's not, it's not really circular, but it certainly isn't a linear temple. I'm not really sure what the other term would be. If it's not linear, then it's something else, but I'm not sure what to call it. I wonder if I can kill this Poe in a minute. Let's see. I'm gonna go for it. I think I can. Ah, she's disappearing. 
I'm being gay. Alright, come on, I'm up here so I can take you out. That's one. Come on, come in for another. I'm ready for you. You don't want to get them right next to the walls, or they'll uh, start like going into them and stuff, and that can be confusing. Let's try to stay in the middle of the room. I didn't think she was going to come back that soon, but I guess she did. Alright. Her mistake. What can I say? I guess they intend you to fight that ghost with arrows, because they drop arrows after you kill them, so... I don't know. Just a theory. Let's see. Pick up the arrows there. Open the chest. And I believe we're bumping up on the time limit of this video. And so I will, uh... Ah, excuse me. I'll see you guys next time on uh, Let's Play Out Your Time Master Quest when we continue with the Forest Temple. See you then.